Kia ora koutou. this is question 3E from this year's integration paper. So we're given a graph showing part of the curve given by equation y equals 2 over x. So it's part of a hyperbola thing. Um, and then we're told that points P and Q lie on the curve with coordinates k, x coordinates, k and 3k respectively, where k is positive. Okay, so far so good. Um, so just notice that it's very easy to get the y values for these points. Right, um, I'm going to read through the question first, but that's what I'm going to come back and do. And then we've got a point R up here. It's also going to be very easy to get the, the coordinates of that point. Right, so point R is such that PR is parallel to the x-axis and QR is parallel to the y-axis. The shaded area can be written in this form. So obviously what we've got here is we've got a rectangle, right? Um, because we know that it's parallel to the x-axis and parallel to the y-axis. So we have to find the shaded area, find the values of a, b, and c. What I've got here is I could do weird things with trying to figure out this, but the shaded area is going to be most easily found if I do the area of the rectangle and then I take away the area under the curve. Right, so we're going to want to find this integral here. The limits for that are really easy. They're going to be k and 3k. Um, so really the only hard bit of this question is figuring out the area of a rectangle. And we know that that's the base times the height. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, as I thought I would be doing, I'm going to find the coordinates of p, r, and q. Right, so p has got an x coordinate of k. y in this example is 2 over x. So the y value here is going to be 2 over k. So p has x coordinate of k and y coordinate of 2 over k. And q has y coordinate, so it has x coordinate of 3k and it has a y coordinate of 2 over 3k. And um, we don't even really need to find the coordinates of R because all I've got to do now is figure out the width of the rectangle and what's the other part of a rectangle? Length of a rectangle. So let's just explain what we're going to do. So the area is equal to area of rectangle minus this integral, the integral between 3k and k of the function. And that's a pretty easy achieved level 3 integration problem. Right, so this has a length of 3k minus k which is 2k and the height here, well this is 0 and we know that that coordinate there is 2 over k so that's the height of the rectangle. Um, so I'm going to go very slowly here in case there are people watching who didn't get this in the exam. Right, so that's the base or the width or whatever you want to call it. So that's the base times the height. And then this integral is going to be 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of x evaluated at 3k and k. So here we're getting 2k times 2 over k minus 2 log of 3k minus 2 log of k. Cleaning this up I get 4 minus, now let's just go back and look at what we're trying to get to. We want to write it in the form a plus b log c. So let's just deal with these squared things. I've got the log of 3k squared minus the log of k squared. So I've got 4 minus the log of 9k squared plus the log of k squared. I'm going to combine these. So we have 4 plus the natural log of k squared over 9k squared. And we know that k is non-zero. Or, oh, yep, we do know that. Um, so we're left with this, 4 plus the natural log of 1 ninth. But we're not done, right, because what we're asked to get is A, B, and C, and A, B, and C are integers. 
So remember that the log of 1 is 0, so it's 4 plus the log of 1 minus the log of 9. And this is just 0, so the answer is 4 minus the natural log of 9. So what are A, B, and C? Well, A is 4, B is negative 1, and C is equal to to 9. So there you go, that's that question done, right? So now we're on to the differentiation paper. Um, I've had one request for, uh, I think, 2D in the complex numbers paper. So just keep on, just add some comments if there's other merit questions that you'd like me to video in the next few days. Thanks for watching.